Yeah, you know, here's the thing. I'll tell you this perfect example. I've, I I don't know how long I've been on social media. It hasn't been that long. I think TikTok for, oh, nine months, 10 months, something Maybe like since that. Since it started like the p- pandemic, I think. I scrolled back. I was yeah, like, I got to yeah. see all his videos. Yeah, and it's <laughs> like, uh, you know, I, I hit... I hit 500,000 in like three or four months, right? It was really fast. About, yeah, and you then, gotta be early on those platforms. It's so key. And then what What else, you know, uh, the other aspect that you learn, like me as an older person, I might have it easier because because I wasn't as attracted to social media in the same way. But like right. you learn how to deal with douchey guy comments, right? <laughs> That's what there's a lot. <laughs> you learn not to look at your phone every three and a half seconds. Mm-hmm. You like, there's a lot of like little tools, uh, tips, I guess, as you're developing this stuff to not get carried away and and get lost in it, but also, you know, find success and really communicate with your audience, right? Like answering your, your, you know, comments and like really taking the time to look at certain people's work that, you know, you can follow and, and create that, that. A relationship that's genuine at the same time, you know, as uh, not overwhelming you to the point like I have a family, right? Like I'm very interested in hanging out with my wife every day and (laughs) playing with my kid. And like, uh, and then I like to do stunts and box and do all my sports and stuff like that. And, and, uh, and then I have a job, right? Yep. (laughs) So all that, plus we work on our own projects, right? We create our own films in the garage and our own, you know, brand stuff that that we come across so it it takes a lot of time and 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 there's healthier tools and i think that's one of the things that young people are going to learn is like when to turn it off how to turn it off what to take seriously what not to take seriously i remember i I can give this one piece of advice i'm a i'm an old dude and someone insulted me on (laughs) on on my you know one of my channels i don't even remember where it was probably tiktok and i was like you know put up your dukes, right? I'm ready to fight. And like, <laughs> and, uh, and I was like, bah, 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 and I wrote something back, right? That yeah. was like kind of ugly back, you know? And, right. and I remember I told my wife, we were on a hike and I told my wife and she's like, Justin, <laughs> no, no, don't, just don't, you know, don't, don't even open that door. You know, she, I'm like, this is a sad person. This is someone that's yeah. like, you know, one of those haters that like, is looking for something to either to poke you or get something out of you or just be a dick, right? Yeah. So, and I really thought about, I'm like, man, you know what? You're right. You're right. And like, what a waste of time. And even for me, like to feel those feelings of like, I'm like, why would I feel that for this person? That's a couple of words that is, you know, I don't know at all. This is not, and I, and I, from that point forward, I was like, okay, whatever. Like it means nothing. It means nothing. And that's the kind of little thing where there's a little bit of power the tool could give you because you get high, right? When people are like, this is awesome, dude. Right. Right. And then I'm like, ooh, thank you. You know, and then, <laughs> yeah. but if, but then that douchey comment can feel the same way, right? It can really hurt your, your inside. So it's like, no, you gotta, you gotta really have a healthy understanding that this is, this is a lot of sugar. Yeah. That can come both ways and some diabetes too, or whatever, mm-hmm. you know? So like, you, you you know, this is an amazing tool. It's awesome to create these audiences and make these connections, but you don't need to, uh, you just got to have a, a clear real world separation between uh, the tool and of course our lives. That's, that's so important. I think that's something that, you know what, actually in, in a sense, putting myself out more and building a bigger audience, especially on TikTok over like the pandemic has helped me a lot with is just when I, I've heard it a lot lately of just being like, you know, the people who are commenting negative stuff, they have something really wrong themselves. Yes, like they're, yeah. they're dealing with something that's probably much worse than whatever you're dealing with because they have the time to go and put negativity out there. Yeah. And what I found has been so good for me on TikTok is actually getting more of those and seeing that more uh-huh. because it's helped me in just everyday life deal with that and realize, you know what? Everyone's dealing with their own stuff. They're in survival mode and I can't, right. you know, they're right. saying this and that's fine. And, and going through the process of like, someone leaves a negative comment and I said hey like you I hope you're having a really good day like I'm so sorry that you know and then sometimes they you know sometimes they like get defensive or sometimes they'll come back to you and be like yeah you're right why did I put this hate out there and you you start to realize that like it's 
you know, it's coming from a, an interesting place. And especially like, even I'll scroll through videos and in my head, like maybe these old judgments will come up. I'll be like, oh, and then I'm like, and I'll leave something like really nice or like, I'll see a lot of negative comments and I'll try to like, be like, hey, why are, is everyone judging this person, this? And I, I think it's like almost just made me change my thoughts, I guess, about judgment in general as a whole, just from seeing these negative comments. But yeah. I do think like there needs to be some sort of education because we're having like young kids on social media now who oh, are yeah. experiencing this. And oh, yeah. as much as we try to say like, hey, it shouldn't matter. Like right. they're does, 10 yeah. years old. It's gonna yeah. it's gonna matter. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So I don't you're, know what we can do about that. Maybe a school course or something because it's it's yeah, part of their know, daily life now. It, it, it Exactly. I think it absolutely... Uh, is a is a thing like that, or there's just people like you talking about it right now, uh, because this is where kids learn stuff, right? On yeah, podcasts that's and true. on YouTube channels, and like, you know, some of the people that are really influential, absolutely being able to talk about that process and things they've learned goes t- super far. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, I think there's an evolution, right? A lot of the young kids are figuring it out and evolving to these next generation of kids that. Uh, that will just have it, you know, like whatever, you know, it's like dealing with a bully in the old days, you know, you have to, have to, you have to have certain tools to understand and succeed. So, uh, but I, I think what you said is very, very valid. 